Welcome to On The Mark. A big hello to Neralee Meadows and Kelly Underwood. We're really excited about tonight's show because, Joe, you've been everywhere this week, certainly making news. I'm speaking on behalf of all Bombers supporters when I ask you, what happened in Sydney? <laughs> Are you staying in the red and black, please? Firstly, thank you guys for having me on. Um, it's lovely to be here. And, yes, I'm uh, obviously not playing footy at the moment, so... Important to stay relevant and uh, stay in the news. <laughs> but no, um, you know, it was, a, it was a great opportunity for me to, to ring um, a mentor of mine and catch up uh, whilst I was in Sydney vi visiting the surgeon. And um, obviously, it's been blown out of proportion a little bit, but um, you know, I'm really proud of the way that the footy club. Uh, supports me to do things like this and um, we can squash that and move on. So the Bombers knew about this? Yeah, so I spoke to Xavier, um, who's our CEO, and um, completely understands the situation and uh, he's always very supportive of things I'm doing and, um, you know, supports my life outside of football. So paint the picture for us. You're at Tom Harley's house and you just catch up. How did that relationship start? What was the meeting like? Yeah, so, I mean, for those that don't know, Tom um, was a mentor of mine whilst I was in the AS, um, AFL Academy. Uh, for two years um, and, and really important time in my football development then. I uh, went over to Tom's house, um, you know, whilst I was babysitting the kids and, and had a good catch up and, um, and then headed on my way and um, caught up with the surgeon the next morning and, and got some reasonably positive news there. So I'm uh, looking forward to, to getting on the road with my recovery and uh, moving things f forward from a football perspective. So you contracted at Essendon for next year. Are you going to sign a contract extension? Do you want to stay at the Bombers? Yeah, look, I mean, my management um, and the Essendon Football Club have a fantastic relationships and uh, we're all, always in um, constant contact and, um, you know, I'm really excited about getting back out there and playing for the Essendon Football Club because I uh, haven't had the opportunity to do that as much as I'd like in recent times. So, Joe, where were you when you found out that it actually made the news? It's been the biggest AFL story of the week and, and your reaction, were you driving in the car and heard it on the radio or on the phone? Or? Look, I don't um, follow the news of AFL um, too closely, but um, it doesn't take very long for things to get around this time and a few messages from friends and um, a conversation from my manager and found out it's in the news. And, um, you know, it doesn't really bother me too much because I don't see it um, as much as other people do. I can just sort of get on with my business. This is a club, when I talk about Sydney, that are the sort of the best forward planners in the game and, and they kept um, AFL's best secret, didn't they, for 12 months with the Buddy um, bombshell. So can, can you see in a way um, how people are a little bit sceptical about this? I mean, perception's yeah. everything, isn't it? Oh, I mean, well, you know, perception... Uh, is not reality. Uh, perception uh, sometimes gets described as reality, but um, I can see how people uh, write the stories like this and, uh, you know, people want to get a bit of clickbait and that sort of thing. And um, For me, I just can concentrate what I'm doing and, and that's sort of getting my body in the best shape as quickly as possible and um, hopefully getting out there and performing for the Essendon Football Club, unfortunately, next year. Do you feel like you owe the Bombers 